Hey, you are watching Roy and the Secret People here on the Sunday Sessions Project.
by desire, that's what she said When I'm there, oh God, and now you're late The song goes out to Nancy. Club's not there anymore. I don't know where she is. The song is for her. Table cigarette is in her mouth. Lovely comes with an arm of daisies. Oh, you. Her pussy cat is rubbing her head under the bottom of my lip. And while I'm humming, infatuation's nothing like this.
Hi folks, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Sunday Sessions Project. Thank you guys for joining in yet another Sunday. So, today we are actually very grateful to have Roy and the Secret People here with us. So let's start out with introductions. Uh, Craig, backing vocals. Ed Golden, brooding guitarist. Mike. Glenn Bernowski, bass player. All right. I liked it when you said that we picked you up on the highway, but... Well, yeah. <laughs> so, thank you guys for coming down. Great set tonight. So, for starters, who are the secret people? Well, it's an army of musicians scattered all over the world. Mike sends out a text with a set list, says, can you do it? And the four of us, five plus Jason, keep showing up every time. So, oh. that's who we are. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Gotta eat it. It's the only way to be heard is to eat the mic. All right, so give me a little bit of a background. You know, how'd you guys get together? I heard, you know, you found your drummer on Craigslist, you know, Can we, an idea? Yes, actually, Craig was found on Craigslist. The irony runs deep. Uh, <laughs> the band started in Brooklyn um, in 2003, 2004. Uh, shortly after a few years of doing that scene, we relocated to Easton, and then I started to recast the secret people. Uh, okay. Usually I had a bunch of different friends playing with me each week at different shows. I never knew which friends would be on stage with me. Gotcha. Hence the name The Secret People. <laughs> All right. These guys have been pretty constant for, for a long time now, but, I mean, we're so far into the years with the name. Might as well just keep it. All right. So, hey, yeah. That works. So uh, you guys have different backgrounds in music. You know, tell me a little oh, yeah. bit about you know, where you guys kind of come from and how you have mixed together to become... Roy and the Secret People. Uh, I go first. Okay. Yeah, you go first and last. Great. <laughs> um, I started. I'm Eat basically. I'm basically <laughs> the '80s harder influence. That's my background. Obviously, I still look that way. I get picked on for it, but hey, whatever. Um, Got to be you. Yeah. Uh, and the shortest guy in the band, of course. But <laughs> uh, background uh mostly i did a lot of my stuff out in la during the 80s and all that stuff and uh that's my pretty much my influence is the just rock and roll from nice. back in the day awesome yeah so i began playing yeah like you and everybody uh, back in the 80s i'm eating the mic <laughs> and uh played in a lot of different kinds of bands um from kind of the hair metal bands to some bluegrass alt Okay. Alternative kind of band. Nice. Um, began a career at Martin Guitars. Spent 20 years there building and designing and oh, wow. playing guitars and kind of still do that stuff. So, so nice. I've been introduced to these guys and got back on electric and it's been a blast. Yeah, I don't awesome. Remember? I don't even remember how I met you. I forget. You were on Craigslist and I had you meet us at a bar <laughs> and to see what you ordered us a drink, but you pulled up in your your what your blue Corvette that was just pretty bad at pretty cool. Um, <laughs> you can bleep that. Uh, anyway, and Ed, I forget how you auditioned for the band or came in. You were a friend of somebody, right? Yeah, you came into my shop. Oh, maybe I just came into your yeah. music store. Yeah. That's what it was. I forgot. Yeah, I came into my music shop in Nazareth. Oh, okay. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Six, six years ago or so? Like yeah. That. Okay, Thank nice. And, uh, I'm here because of Dan DeCellis, who got me in touch with Scott Bradoka. And I played bass for them, and Mike was looking for a bass player, and... Through Dan the Chalice, really. Okay. He's the root of all evil for, for my bass playing. So. Okay. Yeah, and uh, the one guy who's not here is Jason, and Jason Hedrington, also known as Head Eye, uh, plays the keys in the Moog. Yep. He fills out our sound with a bunch of weird spacey stuff, um, but he unfortunately is at a, a, a family uh, emergency function and cannot join us today. So. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Just doing a straight up four man rock band kind of a situation. Well, you guys still did a great job with that. So. Oh, thanks. Thanks. So, you know, what do you guys got going on? I know everything kind of is crazy. Do you guys got stuff coming up now, now that things are starting to pick back up? You guys playing around? Tell me a little bit about... Uh, we just did Music Fest, the virtual Music Fest, last weekend. Okay. The weekend before that, we were doing all virtual shows now. Um, we did some virtual show for the Bethlehem Sculpture Garden Center uh, at yes. our workplace, which is Studio 73 in Hellertown. Um and I think this was one of our last things that we have immediately. Okay. Do we have anything else coming up? No. 
no, it's all virtual, so we're just going to make little video clips, throw them on our website and nice. stuff like that and harass each other and harass our fans, you, you know, and uh, just have fun with that. Awesome. So have the virtual music. We'd like to do this here next Sunday if possible. <laughs> what, another episode? <laughs> well, guy. you can swing it maybe after the other band we got coming next Sunday, but hey, we're not opposed. <laughs> but, so how'd the virtual music fest work? You know, now that things are getting up and going again, they're trying to do things virtually. How did that actually uh, work out? Service Electric TV. They filmed okay. At a, uh, a site in uh, Allentown. All right. And uh, it was live. We did one, uh, one hour set. And then they, yeah, and then they took a half hour break. Okay. And then they did it. We did another uh, hour set. It was hot. It was hot. Yeah, it was, it was, it was fun. We had a good time. Awesome. Sounded great. Everything was perfect. Yeah, yeah, right now, I mean, everybody's, everything's up in the air. Everybody's trying to do some live Facebook and just the different social media. We don't really know what's going on with venues, you know. Yeah, it's all different now. And so, yeah, it's kind of cool to see what's going on within the virtual space and how people are adapting there, so. Right. Well, we appreciate your crew and everything you guys are doing for us here. Oh, man, we it's appreciate blast, you man. guys coming down. Thank you very much. So, where can we find you guys' stuff, you know, just... Facebook, Spotify, you know, tell us where yeah. all of your stuff is. All the digital platforms. Okay. There's so many. There's all of them. Pretty much. We got our music everywhere. If you just Google Roy and the Secret People, R-O-I and the Secret People, you'll see our website. You'll see all the platforms we're on, where all our albums are. Okay. All that fun stuff. So, And we're recording a new album right now, so oh, we're nice. busy doing that. During this whole thing, yeah. might as well work. So when are you guys looking to have that out? Well, who knows when it's done? Okay. There you go. Ten or years. <laughs> yeah. Well, Give they say take. work of art is never done. So, but all right. Uh, is there anything you guys might want to promote or anything I forgot to ask about? Mm, anything? 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 Well, it's laundry oh, day. Laundry day. That's important. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? I plug my daughter. SarahGoldenMusic.com. Oh yeah, your daughter. Yeah, she's awesome. All right, so tell me a little bit about it. If you're going to plug it, give us you know some background sure. so people can have an idea what to look at. Um, two of my daughters uh, are singer-songwriters. My oldest, Maddie, uh, she has a lot of stuff on Instagram, so check her out, Mad Madeline Elizabeth. And uh, my next daughter is Sarah Golden. She has a website, sarahgoldenmusic.com. She has a new release, new single, um, and recently graduated college. So, Awesome. What kind of music is it for anybody who might be interested and you know, kind of give us an idea of what they might listen to? You know. Um, so Sarah is is more of a Christian uh, based songwriter. I'd okay. say she went to a Christian college, uh, and Maddie is all about uh, old jazz and that kind of stuff. Yeah, real soulful stuff. So check them both out. Yeah, Instagram and uh, and online. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you guys very much for coming down, helping us get another new episode out to the audience. There, we greatly appreciate it. You guys did a great set. Yeah, it was so. a lot of fun. Hey. Thank you. Thank you guys. Definitely. All right. Folks at home, thank you very much for watching tonight. Remember, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher. Wherever you find video or audio, search for us. You might find us. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening. Now we're going down the road And we're gonna Happen upon some circumstances which may be true, which may be not true. This is a song about a real trip which could have turned into disaster. No one was arrested, thank God. We got a logic and our wits ahead of the curve on this one. This is a true story. This is called Arizona. Arizona. <laughs>